Oh no, more memories. Oh no, more demon children. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah Devitt, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We have been looking for you. Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? Oh, that's Anthony. Why does Anthony have this voice? My dear friends, it is Professor Glenn. You do you mean Fa Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the... Of the something to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know, at 12 o'clock you will find the door open and I'll be inside the lounge. That's it, my dearest colleagues. Vidate nesquestiat. I forgot what that meant. Oh well. <laughs> I forgot what that meant. <laughs> I'll put on screen what it meant, because I forgot. It's like, do not forget, right? Or, do not tell anyone? I don't know. I remember that in this furniture, we used to keep some of our personal belong belongings. Now it is empty. Okay. What about this window? The walls are in complete disarray. I could probably punch through if I tried. Well, why not? <laughs> Go on, punch through. I would like to see that happen. I remember that this is the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Forgot this was a boarding school. And that's why I, I was like, what? <laughs> Beds? But yeah, boarding school. Oh, you're gonna go to sleep. Why? Okay, I'm in a creepy place. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Okay, we got a children's story. A little children's story there. That's nice. Um, I like the glow that these windows are making. It's a very pretty color. I'm gonna read about Mr. Rabbit again. When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mr. S Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument. I don't like where this is going, you know? I mean, he just walked right into a bunch of predators. <laughs> I'm gonna go walk through here now. Alright, what did Mr. Rabbit do next? Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Oh, it could still go a good way. And then they ate him. <laughs> Mr. Wolf answered politely, What we are trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Okay, and then the rabbit ran. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I do not want to be eaten. I want to live. And then he got killed, and then I got an email. Okay. Nothing here, I guess. To which Mrs. Snake answered, smiling, That is impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later, don't you think so? Well, this is kind of dark for a children's, uh, story. You know, you, you probably shouldn't teach them death until, until a little bit later. I mean, if you're going to teach them about death, the least, the least you can do is not tell them that they're going to die. <laughs> Alright, oh, I don't like that figure over there, but let's read more. Mr. Vulture added, Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue on hand. It is getting late, and as you can see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us to decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest is the one to eat you? Yeah. Which one do you want to eat you? That's a great question. Snake swallows you hold. Mm, Vulture picks at you after you're dead. And the wolf eats you right away. I'd say Vulture, then, because it picks at you after you're dead. So I'm already dead, who cares if he eats, if he eats me? After de thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not to or organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle, and I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you think? Okay. Well, you know what? This is a nice story so far. I mean, nothing too terrible this happened. Sure, it's a little creepy because it's about, you know, d they're gonna eat a rabbit, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay so far. The three predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. Not sure about all these, uh, creepy things I'm seeing in the windows, but that that's just my imagination. I'm gonna keep reading. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. He's gonna get there first. He gets to eat him. Ha! I get to eat myself, losers! <laughs> I'm a cannibal now. 
Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang. The earth shook, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. The end. He got shot. Freaking heck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna admit it. You guys made me jump a little. You, you rabbits made me jump a little. That was, uh, not very nice of you. <laughs> and... Impossible mo mo love? An impossible love. There is something I kept to myself for a long time. And the thing is that I love you. I've always loved you. Since the first time I saw you. Since the first time I felt your frozen hands. Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty, dead eyes. Necrophilia, I don't like this. I miss your rough hair, your grayish skin, your stench. Nope, don't like this. But our love just cannot be. Yeah, because she's a corpse. It is an, an, it is an impossible love. I was about to say it was it sounded kind of cute, but then, but then it went really gross. Okay, the end. Okay, I'm awake now. No, not again. How long have I been sleeping? What was that all about? In the nightmare, I found a place. A place in my memories. Look, I don't know what kind of weird, twisted f things you read as a child, but... Holy frick, that rabbit story, and then the, the love story with the corpses, dude. You've got some problems. No wonder you went to therapy. Huh. Okay, let's, uh... Let's leave. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. There wasn't anything in that room, right? I don't think there was. I already looked everywhere, I'm pretty sure. Why is the music picking up? You stop picking up right now. Anything in the mirror? Dusty mirror. Okay, I guess there really was nothing in here then. Hmm. Yep, nothing. Dun dun dun. Okay, anyone in here? Pray for us sinners. Yeah, you keep praying. I think we all need that. <laughs> After what I just saw. <laughs> okay, let's look over here. You you doing okay? Seems there's still hope. Okay, yeah. You keep you keep being hopeful, man. You all right over here? Yeah, you're still doing good. You're still asleep. Yep, you're still asleep. And uh, that's still a bunch of lies. And the eyes of the fervent. Okay, that's nice. Going over here. Hey, you need anything? No? Still over here trying to make him come to his senses? Alright. I'm gonna go this way now. Anything over here? Nope, still her. You know what? I don't blame her for jumping into the into the uh, ocean there. I kind of want to too, but alright. Uh, guess I still can't do anything over here. I'm gonna, gonna go back now. The grave recently dug. I got scared. I thought it was something new, but nope. Nope. Just accidentally clicked on something. Still going over here. You do you, uh, Mother Elizabeth. Gonna go over here. Uh, the guy's no longer doing his stuff. Where is he? Did he move somewhere else? Anything in here? Nope. Alright. Guess I'll go back inside. Don't really know where I'm supposed to go. I already read this, and I just I just touched again, didn't I? Um, hey, dude, I had some dreams about rabbits. You want to, like, talk to me about them? No? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just go back then. Never mind. Can I talk to you? Nope, she's still praying. Alright, you keep doing that, I guess. I'll just, uh... Keep going. Hey, yo, you wanna hear some music? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can I stab you with this morphine? No. You don't, you don't wanna... You don't want the morphine? Okay, I'm just gonna go now. Forgiveness is in the fire. Alright, well, um, maybe you should just burn yourself. 
and die. <laughs> and die. <laughs> You're creeping me out, man. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do here? I'm lost again. I am once again lost. Can I just break this wall down like I really want to? Can I break it down? Can I listen to some music? <laughs> well, there is one room I haven't checked yet, I think. Uh, and that's, uh, the classroom. I haven't checked the classroom. I'm in the completely wrong area to check the classroom. <laughs> Classroom's over here. Hey, anything new in here? Hey, anything new? No? Nope. Not nothing new. And my disturbing nightmare is brought to this spot. Oh. Oh! You were? I don't remember that. <laughs> it is the trap door I saw in my nightmare. Well, time to open it. From here sprouts a horrible stench. There's something down there. A dead person, probably. Let's go. Oh my god, I was right. There is a dead person. Did you see? Did you see? It was there, just in front of me. That thing, it was screaming! The decayed corpse of a young woman. It seems as if she has been devoured by an animal. Can I help this person? He shakes uncontrollably, his body racked with pain, and there is only one way to end his suffering. Well, time to use the morphine! I guess, whoop de doo <laughs> Been dying to use that morphine. Rest in peace. I mean, a sane person would have brought him back up the trap door and, I mean, get him to an hospital. <laughs> I do have a car, right? I mean, he doesn't seem to have any blood coming out of him. <laughs> he, he didn't seem to be. Uh, severely injured, unlike some of these other things in here. I'm not sure what these all are, but I'm assuming they're human. Or they were human. The stretchers used to carry the corpses here. Who is behind all of this? I don't know, man. I'm hoping it's Cthulhu. He must have done. He must have been dead at least a week, still bearing an expression of horror. That's not good. That's not good. I don't like how there are flies. Even though this is down here. In a place where there shouldn't be flies. What's this? The walls are splattered with dried blood. Yeah, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Uh, do the nuns know about this? Let's go. Let's go to memories! Hey, are we playing, uh, musical chairs? Punctual as always, Devitch. Now all that remains is to introduce our guest. You may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest! Do not worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. Is this Anthony? I thought the other guy was Anthony. They kind of look the same. <laughs> Do not worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. The professor genuinely shares our curiosity, and who better to compl complete our group than one of the most? Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explain beyond the explore beyond the veil. Um, dude, I didn't get to read the end of your sentence there. The moment we have long awaited has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon the door will... Soon the door be open. Soon shall the door be open. And then may we finally see... Something. Now I ask that you close your eyes. You will feel a momentary prick as I inject you with the serum. Serum. What? Anthony was insane back then, man. Holy frick. Uh, did I join a cult when I was younger and didn't realize? Even after all these years, I have not forgotten your forgotten your voice. You are the fourth witness. I remember. I remember now what happened. What it is that we saw. What is what is that we saw? What? <laughs> the eye of the bird. Malamense. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that danged us. We opened that which should not be opened. In doing so, we shone... We shorn... The veil that separated our world from his. In seeking vision, we were... 
something. It remembers us, it looks for us, it calls us from its dark nest, from its abominable lair. All these years I have attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. These poor, wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them has. Only us, the four witnesses. Who are the other two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of you, but I was seized by curiosity. It absconded... Absconded... Absconded something with my faith and deprived me of my sanity. Oh, Lord, forgive me who for nothing remains. All that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Gravely have we sinned, and now our only absolution is to burn. To burn in the flames! Okay, I, th I think you need to calm down, Grandpa. And you need to go uh, take some tea, drink some tea, take your meds. Uh, relax. <laughs> well, no one is going to burn into any flames. Okay, you're burning into flames! Oh, God! Malum! In... Say. He's naked. What? <laughs> Did that guy just slap me? <gasps> He's gonna put me in a coffin. Oh no. I'm buried alive. I'm dead. Not my fault he burned himself alive. I didn't do it. He wanted to be a flora and burn himself alive. Oh no, I am being buried alive. How am I going to get out of this? I don't think I am. I think we're going to switch to a new main character. Because this guy's dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Devitt's dead. Oh, that grave was for me. How sweet. The adventure continues in episode 3. I guess we'll never know if we're dead or not. Until the next episode, The Last Door Memories was funded by 450 backers. It was published on June 21st, 2013. Community descriptions by all those people. Cool. Special thanks to all those people. Alright, guess I'll go to the main menu. Um, That is all for this time. I hope, uh, I hope I have not scarred you all for life, and, uh, I hope there's no wars in the comments, and uh, I hope we can all get along. <laughs> I hope we can all get along. <laughs> now, uh, I want all of you guys who are disturbed by what you just witnessed, <laughs> all of that, I want you all to just uh, go eat your favorite drink and your favorite food. I want you to sit down, watch an anime, if you don't like anime, then watch a movie. Eat some Cheez-Its. Or any chip, really. Just... Settle down, get comfy, grab a cat, grab a dog, grab your goldfish, whatever. Grab a stuffed animal if you don't have a pet. Grab a pillow if you don't have a stuffed animal. And grab a freaking leaf if you don't have a pillow. <laughs> and hug it. And sing Kumbaya. I don't know how Kumbaya goes, because I've, I've forgotten. But I heard it was a very peaceful song, so... You know, start singing that with your mom, your dad, and your siblings. If you don't have any of those, sing it with your cat or your dog. Or if you don't have any of those, sing it with your stuffed animal. If you don't have that, sing it with your pillow. If you don't have this pillow, then sing it with your leaf. And just sing calmly to yourself in a brightly lit room. Make sure it's brightly lit. And, uh, remind yourself that they're still good in the world. <laughs> don't, don't be like the nun and drown yourself in the ocean. Anyway, that's all for this time. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll, I'll meet you guys in episode three. Bye.